Hey there, I'm Jamie and welcome to my channel. First, I wanna thank Kim for sending me in a question on my channel on how to look cute in play clothes when she goes to the park with her grandchildren. And it made me think that I should probably do a video on athleisure looks that will take you on the go. You will see outfits that will take you to the park. You will see outfits that will take you to lunch with your girlfriend. So there will be a variety and there will be summer to fall outfits in this video. So before we jump into the outfits, I wanna talk about three really quick tips that I have for you. First, approach these as outfits. Think about coordinating your pieces, not just buying pieces that you'll wear with whatever, but actually thinking about them as outfits like you do the rest of your wardrobe. Two, add accessories and fun things to them like you do all your other outfits. Just maybe scale them down a little bit if you're going to be active, like put on a stud earring as opposed to a hoop earring that's really large, a smaller necklace. You could wear a cute hat, a baseball cap or a sun hat. Sunglasses are a great accessory for going out and about. Find one that looks cute with your outfits. So really putting some effort into your accessories to dress up the outfit and make it cute can go a long way. And even your handbags will do that, which you will see that in this video. So the third thing is to put on a little bit of makeup and fix your hair a little bit. So don't look like you just got out of bed. So when you're going out in athleisure, it's so casual and leisurely sometimes that if you have not done anything to your hair or makeup, it can look a little bad. And so, and you all know what I'm talking about, we've all done it. But if you just put on a little makeup, whatever that means for you, then do it. Just freshen up your face a little bit and also fix your hair. Throw it in a ponytail or a bun, something that's cute or add a scarf because that can go a long way to make your outfit look a little cuter. And so those are the three tips I have. Those are the things that I do to elevate my outfits and you will see a lot of those options in this video. So this first set of outfits I'm going to run through are created with the anorak and shorts that I got from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. This was my favorite Zella set. And of course they're sold separately, but I love the options that you have for athleisure looks with these. And the first look is just with the anorak and the shorts together. And I just think it simply is cute enough that if you didn't throw on anything else and just had your makeup on and your hair done, that this is just a good put together outfit. Anytime you find two piece sets, it just makes it so easy because most of the time they are just really cute with the two pieces together. But I did split them up. So I put on a white tank with the shorts. I threw on a belt bag to add to the white tank and I thought it was so cute. And the belt bags or sling bags are very functional right now. You can wear them across your body in the front. And what I learned is just kind of let it land where you feel the most comfortable. And if you want it around your waist, the best area I thought, unless you have a jacket on, is to kind of set it to the side a little bit. And you can find all kinds of options out there now. I do think it's probably going to be the it bag for the season because I'm I'm literally seeing them everywhere and a lot of your high-end designers have done a belt bag as well or a sling bag. <laughs> That's the new cool term because they are being slung across the shoulder. <laughs> so the versatility is good, the function is good because you can carry things that you might need and be hands-free. And to me, athleisure looks are best with bags like this because if you're just wearing your normal shoulder bag, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense when you have a really leisurely look like this. So the third outfit, I just took the anorak and slung it over the shoulders, tied it as a part of the outfit. So if you wanted to just add a little bit of something that was cute to this, you could do that. You could also tie it around the waist. And then it also works as functional. So if you go into air conditioning and need to cover your arms, you can put it on. But otherwise, I just thought it was a really cute look that made it a little bit more put together. And I do want to mention the sneakers that I have on with these outfits because these sneakers are so awesome. And I could not believe this find because they're 30 bucks at Target and they are, I wouldn't say they're a knockoff, but they look like a lot of the 
designer brands, <laughs> nicer brands that are $100 or more. And I got two different colors. I'll link them in the description below if you want to check them out because they are just to die for because the price is great and they are comfortable. I don't think I'd go running in them, but out and about just running errands and things like that, they were perfect for. I'd probably wear them to the park to walk around too. So these were a good find and they're cute and will help elevate your outfit. This next look with the shorts is actually a little bit more elevated. So I took the denim vest and I put it over the white tank and kept the sneakers, have some fun sunglasses on. And I just layered this because I thought it was cute and it elevated it just a little bit. All you have to do is add some casual pieces. If you wanted to add a denim jacket instead of the vest here, uh, you could do that, but I thought the vest was great. I was just thinking about summertime and because we're in 100 degree heat here. But I added more of a fun crossbody bag. This is a Brahmin bag that I've had for a long time. It's actually a sling belt bag type bag. And I thought it was really cute with this and the color coordinated. So my cat eye sunglasses, this bag and the vest helped elevate those shorts to a much cuter athleisure look. So if you are a big fan of a white button up shirt that's a little bit oversized like I am, then you can also add that to this. If you don't wanna do the denim, you could put this on over it, tie it up and put it on with sneakers and you have a really cute outfit. And I also added the brown hat for sun coverage and my cat eye sunglasses. And I just thought this was a really more preppy, put together, fun, maybe more conservative look that was still a little bit of athleisure style. I think joggers are a great option for an athleisure outfit because they are good on all different body shapes and they're super easy to wear. The ones I'm wearing here are a green cargo jogger and I just thought they were so cute with this white little button shirt. I think it's more of a camp shirt style, but I just thought this was fun. Both of these options are from Target and also the sneakers. And I just added the sunglasses and the sneakers just to help create a fun outfit. And I have some bow earrings on and a bow necklace as my accessories. And these joggers are actually a tech stretch material. So they, they're stretchy, they're sweat wicking. So they are going to be good if you are going to be a little bit more active. And there are lots of options in joggers like this. I will link some below for you that are at Old Navy as well. And they also have some tech stretch uh, cargo shorts that are really awesome and some crop pants. So I will include those for you if you're interested, but I think these are all great options for an athleisure look and you can do a lot with them. So I took that outfit that I just showed you and I added the black blazer that I have on over it. So this actually elevates it a little bit more and it makes it a little bit better for cooler weather. So I do think a pair of joggers are very versatile and a lot of the things I showed you in the previous outfits, you could mix with a pair of joggers. Maybe not the green ones, maybe if you got just a more neutral color, maybe a tan color. I tried the tan and they just did not look good on me. So you could do tan black or maybe even a navy and you could coordinate and create some really cute outfits with even some of the previous things that I've shown you. Since I just showed you the blazer, I wanna show you the pants that I got with the blazer, which was in my video on my Nordstrom purchases. But these cute little black front slit crop pants I thought were perfect and I will definitely be wearing this later on in the fall when it cools down a little bit but I loved this outfit and I think I can do a lot with these two pieces I can split them up or I can wear them together and just think about that if you don't like joggers find some pants like this or even some boot cutter flare style pants or even leggings if that's what you want to do and coordinate them with some other pieces and just create some really elevated athleisure looks. So one thing I have not done is add a lot of color yet. So I wanted to show you these pink joggers that I got. They were on super sale at Athleta, I think for 40 bucks, which I couldn't believe it. And y'all know how much I love pink if you have watched me long enough. And so I thought these bright pink joggers were great. They add some color to my wardrobe and I can mix all of my other neutral pieces with them, especially the black, the white, and the blues. And so this first outfit you're seeing are the pink joggers with the blue anorak, the white sneakers with a white t-shirt underneath. And I think this is such a great fall transition outfit. You could do a gray tee underneath if you wanted to, but I just added sunglasses and my pink ear jackets because they match. <laughs> I have them on now. 
And then I added my black belt bag to this, although I thought maybe a different color might be better. I just didn't have one. And I still think the black works pretty well and still elevates the outfit and makes it really cute. So this next outfit is with the pink joggers again, and it's just a little bit more casual because I added a gray hoodie. And I got this hoodie from Aerie and I absolutely loved it. It's part of my lounge wear, but I would totally wear this together as a cute athleisure look. And I just added the belt bag, the black one, one again I kept my pink earrings on and this is where I decided to add my crew sunglasses which have the pink lenses because I thought the pink lenses were really really cute with the pink joggers Another cool outfit that you could do with these is to add the white button-up shirt and this time I didn't tie it up you definitely could but I thought the pink joggers, they are a fleece material, so they're a little bit more relaxed. And I actually liked the white button down, a little bit oversized and wearing it long because then I put the bag on and just kind of slung it across my chest and it helped give it a little bit of shape. And so I really loved this option as well. And so you could do a denim jacket, the denim vest, you could do the black blazer if you wanted to. So as you can see, the majority of these pieces can be mixed and matched and you can create really, really fun looks. I do think leggings are still a very popular option for a lot of people. So I wanted to show you how I would wear my leggings. Now I would probably put leggings underneath this blazer because it is long enough and it covers my bum. But leggings also are cute with oversized sweatshirts. And I have a pink V-neck oversized sweatshirt that I got that's mostly leisure for around the house. But as it gets a little cool outside, I would totally wear this as an athleisure look. And I put the belt bag around my waist so it would cinch the sweatshirt just a little bit and give me a little bit more shape. And then of course, I added my golden goose sneakers because you had to see a look with golden goose. I probably wouldn't wear those to the park, but I would definitely wear those out and about so just to show you another option other than the sneakers I have been showing you and of course I just put on my hoop gold huggies that are great and I kept on the same necklace so there are so many different things that you can do with items like I have shown you and you just have to think of everything in terms of outfits and coordinating those outfits as opposed to just throwing a couple of pieces on. And if you get pieces that are neutral and go with all the other pieces that you have, you will have so many options, you probably will not wear them all. So I really wanted to show you those. And I also, before I end, I wanna tell you a few things that are really popular out there that you might be interested in that I don't personally have, but I will show you some pictures of these, but skorts are very popular. So if you're more of a skirt girl as opposed to shorts and want that cute look, then there are a lot of skort options out there as opposed to the shorts that you could do. And I have seen them from Old Navy to Athleta to Nordstrom. So there are lots of options. Another very popular option is a tennis dress. And there is one in the anniversary sale that is so cute. And if you love dresses, I wanted to mention this because a tennis dress is super easy because if it doesn't come with shorts underneath, you can always buy some short bike shorts that you can wear underneath. And then it becomes very functional for on the go, running around and being really leisure. And I know you might be thinking, it's a tennis dress, you should play tennis in it, but really, you don't have to play tennis in it. It's cute to wear as something that's really stylish. So throw you know, a little sweatshirt over it and tie it in the front, throw a ball cap on, some cute sneakers, and you are good to go. So I hope you liked all of these ideas. I hope they were super helpful for you to think about what would work for you and your personality and what you love to wear on a day-to-day -day basis because that's really what matters is taking those pieces that you feel good in and coordinating them into a really cute outfit and just don't forget your accessories and you know, put a little makeup on and do your hair a little bit, grab some fun sunglasses, grab a cute bag. And even if it's a boring black and white outfit, you're still going to look really elevated and cute. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe if you have time. And thank you so much for watching.